In this video, we'll be discussing the install of the Civil Aircraft mod and coding your very own AI in the Moose framework to fly the planes for you. First off, you'll have to download the Civil Aircraft mod. You can just search it up in Google. Uh, go to the Downloads tab, and the download link would be at the bottom. And go no thanks to the sign up. In the upper right, you can go to direct download and wait. Open it with your favorite unzipper. Mine is uh, WinRAR because you get 40 day trial. Go f to File Explorer. Users, uh, saved games. DCS open beta and mods. Uh, create a folder named aircraft. And you can put your civil aircraft mod in there when you drag it from WinRAR. Now you are good to run DCS. Here I will demonstrate the models in the mission editor. We get the Boeing 727, a 737, 747, and the 757. We got a Cessna 172, an Airbus A320, and an A380. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put together your own little mission. In the mission triggers, go to mission start, load script, and uh, load moose.lua. This will be the framework for our script. The download link is in the description. Now I will start to create our script. Uh, the moose framework reads. Let's call it georgia.lua. When that's done, you can open your Eclipse Moose editor or open any text editor if it's your first time coding with Moose. In this case, I'm using Notepad++, but I can also imagine it working perfectly fine with the Windows text editor. We can start by typing in local. Uh, A320 is our variable equals uh, rat, which is uh, rat new is our object. Rat standing for random air traffic. The brackets Airbus 1 means our group name of the plane is set to Airbus 1. A320 set departure. We want to depart from Sanaki Kolki, Vazani, Kobaledi, Nolchik, and Mozdok. And we can copy that to our destination. You can set any other airfields if you want. So for the A320, I want to spawn seven. Here we can also do it with another airplane, a local 737, you can go rat new Boeing, one. And the same thing over again. Now go to the mission editor, since Moose must run first. I will set the next part of my script to load Georgia.lua after a two second uh, or three second delay. Just remember, DCS always saves the script into the mission when it's added to the triggers. If you uh, made some edits, you must reload the file again. Now create the airplanes. Remember how we named the A320 Airbus 1? So we just put that in the group name of this aircraft we have here. We put it in the group name and set the late activation so uh, the physical plane in the mission editor does not actually spawn. Now, when you run the mission, you can see our airplanes take off from Sanaki Koki, Vazani, Kobaledi, Nolchik, and Mozdok.
they also land there too. I hope this basic tutorial helps you out with your very own mission editing.